it a shark? No. Is it a jellyfish? No. Is it a freaky fish? No. Even if fish agrees with me. No, it's not. What is it? It's a rip current. But what is a rip current, you say? Well, we did not know either. So we went to a special program at Sandy Hook hosted by the New Jersey Sea Grant Organization. I am Hagen. And I am Dulcie. And, and we, we are, are going, going to, to teach you, you what we learned. learned. Rip currents are a result of complex interactions between waves, currents, water levels, and the shape of the seabeds. The result is water that is discolored and choppy, foamy, or filled with debris, and moving in a channel away from shore. Rip currents are dangerous for weak or non-swimmers, but they are leading surf hazards for all beachgoers. To learn more, we went to the Center for Maritime Systems at Stevens Institute of Technology to see a rip current in action. They have a huge tank, 313 feet long. It can make a wide variety of wave types. They showed us how water moves in a rip current. If caught in a rip current, don't, don't panic. panic! Swim across the current following the shoreline. If you can't escape this way, try to float or calmly tread water. Rip current strength eventually weakens offshore. Once we knew all about rip currents, we decided to get the word out. To do that, we entered the Belmar Sandcastle Contest. Thousands of people come every year to make and see cool sand sculptures. We made a model of a rip current. We included swimmers who were safely swimming and some who were not. And though we were successful by the end of the day, we knew we could have done it even better. So we entered another contest this time in Avon by the Sea. safe swimming and we surveyed the people who came by to see how much they learned. A bonus was that our sculpture won first place. Be smart, be safe, and break the grip of the rip.